Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. May I go away to go? You had your lunch? Because there's no classes to be done till 2 o'clock, I think. That's for the schedule, huh? So I would like to thank everyone in this room, the organizers, the organizing committees, the students and the parents out here. So it is just an awful day, you know. Uh, coming here in Sanapati again and again is my pleasure. This is not my first time and this is not going to be my last time, okay? So I'll be here. So include me in your prayer so that I live for so long, many more years, so that I can help you guys, okay? And from today on what include me in your prayer that I should remain strong, you know, strong and you know, healthy, okay? So before we start the program, yesterday I got a message from one of a boy. I think he must be among here. I think he got the information that I'm coming today, and he might be one of the students whom I had met a few years ago, maybe a few months ago, because I come here and there every time. Huh? He said, ma'am, when you come tomorrow, I have a very important work, so I just want to listen to two questions that I'm asking now, after I've been because I have some work. The question was like, number one question, how to become a career counselor? Number two question, he said, ma'am always says that we should always go to PhD. Now my brother is already PhD, you know? But still he is jobless. Why is it so? This is the second question he asked me. So the first question, how to become a career counselor? There is no particular subject or course to become a career counselor. It is just a research work. You know how what I did since 2014? I visit many companies. There are a person called human resource manager. These people, they conduct interviews for the company. So I meet those people and I used to ask them, what kind of professionals are you hiring for the company? That's what I do. The second thing, I visit many universities and I talk to the professors in universities just to know more about the courses which is offering out there, any new courses which is coming up in the market, and what is the importance of those particular courses. This is what I do. Okay? And the second question he asked me, why my brother is very good in studies, why is he still not getting a job after finishing his PhD? So my dear boys and girls, whatever you're doing till now, reading books, getting marks, it's all a hard skill. There is something called soft skills, which many of us does not have. Okay, you know what is soft skills? It is not just about speaking English and writing English. I'm still learning English, you know. Every Sunday, there's a lady called Niku, okay, she's from Bangalore. She taught me English everything. Because this is not my mother language, right? The more we speak, the more we, you know, get into used to it. The day if you stop speaking English, okay, you stop speaking English for three, four months. After that, you start speaking English. Okay, la 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 whatever. So I'm still learning English. So what happened? Soft skill is very important in this present day because all of us, when you go for a college and university, at the end, you are going to work in the corporate sector. In the corporate sector, soft skill is very important. Example, look at me. When I went when I went to the Bangalore for my graduation, now only I can pronounce shoes. In my days, okay, I used to say shoe. So my friend used to ask me, where have you been? I said, I have been to a market to buy shoe. Everybody used to laugh at me. If I have to remember that moment, I still have goosebumps. The kind of embarrassment that I have. I can give pronunciation, say yeah, they were four. I can say pan ka, pan ka, kaidra. It's pen ka. You go to Delhi, you say, Baya, pan ka do, pan ka banane, nobody will understand you. It's pen ka. Can take a This is what you call soft skill. Then again, when I was doing my uh, master's in Delhi for my business management, uh, since we, we are not so financially strong, so uh, I joined a college which is not so expensive one. Then the college gets over by 12 o'clock in the morning. So the entire day I was free. So I decided to work in a call center company just to get some pocket money, okay? So I went for an interview to a call center company. And I was kicked out in the first round. I said, why, why am I not selected? They said, you have MTI. And I told what is MTI. I came home running, okay? And I tried to find out what is MTI. Then I came to know it is mother tongue influence. I said, you want to know that? I said, no, I was. So how are you? I said, I was. I said, I was. I said, I was. I said, I was. So with that particular tone, I cannot work in the call center. Then the next day I went to the company again, same company, I said, give me any job. So they jokingly said, okay, I'm tired and get I said, I don't mind. So in that two years of my hotel uh, management course in Delhi, that two years, every afternoon from one, afternoon two o'clock till evening 
10, 10, 30, night 10, 10, 30, I used to tender tea and a coffee to all the staff working in that company. So in that two years, I learned a little bit of English, I tried to develop my personalities, and I learned lots of soft skills from there. So soft skills are very important. There are many educated people I hear in Manipur who doesn't know how to make a biodata. You know what is biodata? In the general directory of people, there's biodata. Other when a biodata I have. Tea pronunciation in Lalit. Can they come as that? So hard skills, allow me to hard skills, try to improve your soft skills also, which is very important if you want to work in a corporate sector. So this is one reason why many youth in Manipur, even though they are highly educated, very good in studies, still not getting jobs. The reason behind they don't know how to face interviews. Okay, the self good soft skills making behind. So I just came to know, I have come to the realization about this importance. So we have recently started personality development course in Nepal. Every Sunday we are open. From class 8 to class 12, even graduates, if they are willing to, they can come and join the soft skills program. That's what I would like to know. I would like to inform you about this. Alright? So next, let's come to a career. See, career. Career is something that you should love to do. You should love to do, okay? Whether you sleep or eat, they don't care, but it should be something that you love to do. See, the person who made this microphone, he made this microphone and he makes earning out of it. That is career. The person who made this car, he makes a career of money out of it. That is what we call career. See, the fan we are using, the electricity, the person who built the house, everything is career. So likewise, we have many career options in India. More than 1,747 career options are available in India. But then again, you know, recently, I have been to uh, Hauto. Then I saw a boy, okay, with an air gun, okay? And he was, at that moment, he was aiming. So we, we stopped the car, and I was just following him. God, look at the mind game. He hit the bird. Easy thing. See, we Mongolians, okay? We Mongolians, our forefathers, they killed, you know, sa talaga sa panero. Even if you have to be over it, in our genetic. A boy who can kill three birds in a day, he can get a gold medal in the Olympics. To me, why is that? Instead of killing birds in, 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 in the wild, it's better we enroll him. Sponsor him, enroll him in the Kumbala Park or shooting association in the club. He can bring gold medals for the country. And the other answer is, Ma'am, I want to live in a while. I don't 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 want to live in a while. Plucking, you know, the fruits in the woods. And I want to stay in the woods. Then again, he said, Ma'am, just roaming around in the jungle, you know, it will not generate income also. So what to do? There is something called adventurous sports. Okay? This is for youth, even girls can do. Adventurous sports, see, when you go to Goa, there is no industry in factory in Goa, but still there is, you won't find any house which is very poor. You won't find any poor people in Goa because of tourists. So many boys and girls, youth like you, you okay, they have they are so expert in adventurous sports, they have many sports based on the sea. Okay, and if you go to Rishikesh, Rishikesh is blazed with mountain and they have river of Ganga River. So they do rafting, paragliding, they earn lots of money in the field of adventurous sports. But now Manipur is blazed with mountains. So any boys who are healthy and who don't want to study further in their life, okay, but still want to live in the nature, in the wild, okay, in the forest and all, go for an adventurous sports. This will take only six months. The nearest will be in Darjeeling. Okay, when you come back, see, when uh, recently I went to Noné, I took the road from Bisempur, Bisempur, okay, beautiful road. There I saw a spot. That particular spot, okay, you will see a range of mountain and down is the valley. It's the right place to go for bungee falling. You know how much money they used to charge for bungee falling, 2,500 rupees for one, one uh, uh, customer, if you go to Rishikesh. And that's the right place to go for paragliding. So those active boys and girls, okay, you can also make a career in this because Manipur is right now uh, blooming in the field of uh, tourism, okay. Many tourists will come and there are many tourists who would like to have an adventurous sports. They would like to go for rock climbing, mountain climbing, you know, sliding, paragliding and all. 
So this is one opportunity, you know, which we can grab. We still have time, okay? So this is for those people who want to live in the wild, in the forest, the mountain, and earn money at the same time. This is for you all. All right, boys and girls? So today, I will not just be talking, okay? We'll have an interaction. So I will give you four, five minutes now to each one of you. If you have any questions, write it down on a piece of paper. Because why I'm saying this? Because you all have a lack of soft skills, so you will not ask me a question, that is for sure. With the problem of money free, we don't ask questions, okay? So you write it down on a piece of paper, whatever the questions you have, and submit it to me, okay? So that I'll answer to all your questions. Is that okay? Fine? In between, I'll be talking about other subjects also. I'm giving you five minutes now. Don't ask your friend which question to write. This is about yourself. See, this, this question, okay, should we follow one particular profession or multiple profession? It's a very, very, you know, uh, wonderful question. See, nowadays, national education policy has come. According to this policy, there will be no class 10 exam, okay? So class 9 till class 12 will be a semester wise. Every after 6 months will have exam. Metric exam will not be there. But exam will be there every other six semesters, okay? So after class 10, what happened? There will be no art, science, and commerce. You can take a, you can combine, you can choose one subject, one, one or two subjects from arts, few subjects from science, a few subjects from commerce. You can have, you know, you will have a, you know, a mixture of subjects. There, there will be no art, science, and commerce. That is why the companies are ready to receive a person who has a hybrid profession. Example, let's say, uh, a person who is not so good in uh, mathematics and physics, but still wants to work in the field of, you know, software, you know, in, in the field of software engineering line, but still he cannot go for engineering, because he's weak in maths and physics. So there's a solution for that. This people is going to go for hybrid BCA. Even a graduate can do, okay, they never left, never too left for you. We call it hybrid BCA. You can write it down if you have pen and paper. Some universities in India, they offer this course, hybrid BCA. Here, even though if you are art, science, commerce student, okay, even if you are art student, you cannot still go for. Maths is not compulsory if you go for hybrid BCA. Here, what happened? Apart from teaching BCA, they will teach you about other skills. Example, like they will teach you about artificial intelligence also. They will teach you about cyber security. They will also teach you about internet of things. You know what is internet of things? Do you know what is internet of things? Yes. IOT? See, Alexa, I can you sing a song. You know that? Yes. That's IOT, okay? They're using internet. Same time they're using a thing, a thing, a product is used in that, okay? That's what we call IOT. Then, we have mobile apps. Here they will teach you how to develop apps. All right. So nowadays, what happened? Most of the corporate companies they are looking for those people who are doing a hybrid BCA means you are combining BCA with the race of the skills. Okay. So and then after that, if you want to complete yourself, if you want to get around 70, 80 thousand rupees in a corporate company, then you add another one more year in. Animation, Multimedia, Graphic Designing, BFX. If you have one year skill in this program, then your life is complete. That means company will just take you like that. It's not like one. Because we people know what kind of professionals that a company are looking for. So if you go with just only with this, your salary will be like 45. If you go along with this, it will start with 60, 70 thousand rupees. Just one more year of education, okay? So, uh, this process will take you all together four years, okay? Three years here, one year. It will take four years. Other graduate will announce to the I have So, the Gantan will be able to If you want to get married early, then I don't know, but otherwise, still 30 years so you can still do your education, okay? So, if you love computers, and one more thing. One more thing that you people will love to listen, that is how to develop game. 
When you learn this, you will also learn how to develop game. See, now when you play a game, the money goes to the owner, right? When you develop a game, the money will come in your account. <coughs> Why I always mention about money? Because you people love money. <laughs> you are motivated by money. If the salary is 5,000, ah, I don't want to do it. If it is 40,000, then you want to go for it. Yes, I go, is that? So I have to mention money all the time. That's only way how I can motivate you all. Yes, I go, is that? And hybrid profession have been there. About hybrid career, see. Sometimes what happens? Uh, a person wants to become a doctor. A family, the father wants him to become a doctor, but the son wants to become an army. So there is something called uh, Indian Medical Course. Okay? So in Indian Medical Course, what happened? First, they will learn medical. And then they will write an exam and they will join the uh, army also. So recently, there is an earthquake in Turkey. So many doctors have been to uh, Turkey, right, from India. From India also many doctors have been there. Those doctors, are, most of them will be a, a doctor who have joined the Indian Medical Force. So when they go to Turkey, they will leave their gun, they will leave their gun behind, they will wear apron, they will use stethoscope, and they will go to Turkey to save the patients out there, the sick people. But if the car, if war happens in Kargil, they will, they will leave behind their apron and stethoscope, they will hold the gun and they will go for the war. This is what we call a hybrid profession, okay? So now India is so advanced, so it's always beneficial to have two professions in life these days. Earlier we used to say, fix in one thing, now, you can have a hybrid career, hybrid profession, that's quite okay. But your combination should be correct. Example, you do BCA, hybrid BCA, and here you do hotel management, then you are Uta Uta. Yes, I is that? So, in that case, a person like this will be needing in your life to guide you. Alright, boys and girls, can I go? See, they are saying that how to overcome our difficulties while choosing a career. See, there are many ways. Nowadays, uh, till today, I, I can say, till today, how we choose a career? One, a peer pressure, okay? Whatever the parents say, we have to follow. Or a person who is a bread earner in the family, whatever they say, we have to follow. This is one thing. Again, you follow your friends. Your breast friend is going for nursing. Let me also go for nursing. Don't do that, okay? Yes, I go on some. And sometimes they have a financial problem. Sometimes some people, they do have a financial problem. They want to go for higher studies for one particular course. But mom and dad says that we don't have money. But what I'm saying is that, Love your parents, but when it comes to career, be selfish. Okay? Education is your right. Your mother and father just can't turn away saying that I don't have money. Mama, I have to go. 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 I have to as I know, the, the problem, the, you know, the biggest problem I'm facing among the students in the region say it's a financial problem. See, problem see the year four. That is why I'm saying, you all are opening your eyes. Now you all open your eyes, but you don't open very widely. You don't try to find the opportunities which is available in the world. You just play mobile phone and talk. Games, honey, you, you used to see all those unnecessary things, but you never try to find out the opportunities. There's something called, or corporate social responsibilities. We call it CRS. Corporate social responsibilities, CRS. You take a list of all the, you know, uh, what to say, famous multinational companies in India. They all have corporate social responsibilities fund where they provide a scholarship for the students who belongs to SCST or we see other underprivileged. Let's say Dhirubhai Ambani. They spend 100 crores, 100 crores on education for under, you know, underprivileged students. Have you ever tried to find out that? I don't think so. Because you're busy playing mobile phone, right? The mobile games and all. They are like, oh, and there are many universities in India who provide a scholarship for SCST OBC, provided if a parent does not work in the government sector. Many such informations are also there. If you want to know more about that, then you have to come and meet me in the office. Because if I have to explain you now, it will take one, two hours. 
Get the go answer. So, as I said, if you have to look for a career, see, example, you are not so good in studies, example, you are not so good in your books, you don't want to study much of your academics, then you try to find out the area which you are good at. Say, example, one lady came, a, a, a mother, she came to my office and said, ma'am, my son, he is not at all interested in books. Then I asked him, ma, can you talk to him? Then mother came for a while and he said, yes, that's something that my son is very good at. And what is that? He always criticized my food. <laughs> what kind of career he can go out of that, you know, skill? Then there is something called food critics. Okay? <laughs> this is a profession, okay? See, for example, like Haldiram, Haldiram uh, company, okay? Koi buji ya or any call. Before that, it ever comes to the market, they have food critics. The food critics will come and they will swallow masa and mummy put jala masa do ni ko. Then he said, "Adu hapu, adu hapte, adu wale, put something, so put some more. This is more, this is less. For them, it's getting thirty, forty thousand rupees." Okay? <laughs> the younger age, how do you do that? I guess that you can go for home science, you can go for hotel management, and you can be a food critics. I give my living the age of Bangalore. She is a very famous food critics. She belongs to, she is a Keralaite. One day when I was talking over the phone, she said, "Ask me. Oh, I, I keep the phone. I have a place to go and visit. I need one lakh rupees, something very urgent." So I have to go and earn that money. I said, oh, in one hour, in, in, to, in today only you are going to earn that money. He said, yes. I said, how are you going to earn one lakh rupees in one day now? Oh, there's a new restaurant coming up. You know, in a movie also we put a star. Na? Before you watch the movie, we used to ask, oh, how would you star the movie has got? Na? I might talk to the restaurant, the person said, I'm going to star here. So I have a combined point. If the restaurant wants me to put five star, then the rate is one lakh rupees. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So if they, if they give you 50 lakh rupees, I'll put two and a half or three star, okay? That's how we how they are earning money. So, what I'm saying is that if you are not so interested in books, then try to find out the goodness that you have within yourself, okay? So we can make a career out of it. You got my point? So, yes. how many of you know yourself? Even one point, even one point, how many of you know yourself? Example, I am very good in sleeping, talking, eating, something like that. Make sure I consider wrong. Hang wrong on that. Hang there. No, can you pay? The yellow girl. No, can you pay her? What are you good at? Reading, books, what? Singing, dancing. Can you pay her? Anything. Hello. I'm going to tell you that. How about how much I left to share? Hi, I'm going to tell you. I will learn the conversation hour because I am not the teacher. So if you say you are too simple, I don't want to admit that. What are you good at? Take care. Cooking. Cooking, right? Cooking, right? Okay. And you are in which class right now? Twelve. To appear. Okay. Science, arts, commerce, science. So okay, cooking is one thing. So do you love biology? Physics? No. Chemistry? No. Maths? No. Okay. Only bio, right? Then you see. If you want to make a career based on bio, if you want to make a career based on bio, bio cannot work alone. Okay? When you go towards bio, your physics and chemistry will follow. Even if you want to make a career based on mathematics, physics and chemistry will always follow. Then you decide. Whether you make a career in that biology or you want to make a career in cooking, which one you will choose? Tell me, I'll make you not <laughs> Tell me, which one you want to make a career in biology or in cooking? Which one? Huh? Biology. Biology. Okay. Fine. Manaji biology pa me hai ko. Bio da manaji ke chemistry ke physics tere ma hai yade. She is not so comfortable in physics and chemistry. So even if she go for medical line, the chances of getting through in the medical entrance is likely less if you don't work hard more on your physics and the math, the chemistry. But there is nothing such called impossible. Okay, everything is possible. Human being that over the world can make it happen. 
other than that, biology, but yes, in the higher the physics, chemistry will always follow you. But if you take honors in biology, there's a different thing. Otherwise, if you want to go for a professional line, for example, if you want to go for biotechnology, chemistry and the physics bio biology will be there. Even if you want to go for microbiology, chemistry, physics, biology will be there. bio will be there. Even if you want to go for biochemistry, physics, chemistry and biology will be there. Bio will be there. Can I go? Then there are many things, dairy technology, food technology, there are many careers based on bio, but there your physics and chemistry will always follow you. That is why before you take any step, what you have to do is you buy a book from class 7 to class 10, all the science book, okay? Revise all the portion, okay? Revise all the portion, then it will be easy for you to take any career based on biology, physics and chemistry. Can I go on, sir? No, you have class 12, you have class 12, you have class 12, you have class 12, the physics, the ZZ Thompson, the ethanol model, you have to go. Rutherford, you have to go. Rutherford, you have to go. Model atom tapi ko, angang tang kaya mani class tu nene kontra katara nene, blankly nene katara nene. You know why the reason behind is the origin of the subject started is from class nine. In class nine there is chapter called the structure of an atom. There they have introduced J.J. Thomson model of atom. There they have also given an introduction to Rutherford nuclear model of an atom. Kita ko, adu hairak tu mana na class tu tu nene pura blind katara nene hebat. अतो नहीं है ना इधर हाई तो से सिविल सर्विस एग्जाम था आगे रा मेडिकल एंट्रेंस था आगे रा इंजीनियरिंग एंट्रेंस था आगे रा इफ यू प्रिपेयर ओनली योर क्लास इलेवेन एंड क्लास ट्वेल्थ बुक्स इट इस यू विल नेवर गेट थ्रू इन द एंट्रेंस एग्जाम ओके यू हैव टू स्टार्ट रीडिंग फ्रॉम क्लास सिक्स ऑनवर्ड्स a person is confused among two options. Those kind of careers are very, very easy to counsel. And if you want to know more about a particular career, then things is so easy for me again to counsel you. But if you say that, ma'am, I really don't know what to do at all, that is one of the toughest counseling in the world. In that case, what happened? We, we will take a test for all of you. The name of the test is psychometric test. This test will be conducted by the clinical psychologist or maybe a psychologist, okay? They will conduct the test uh, within, uh, within the span of 24 to 48 hours. The report comes from Bangalore. Through their report, I can, I can somehow make it out a career plan for you. Okay? So if you are really, really confused in, a, in your life about the career, you come and meet me, we can go for the assessment test. This is about National Defense Academy. See, this is the exam. NDA. During COVID, the Indian government has notified even girls can also write National Defense Academy exam, okay? Lupis, you know, are a Ask science formers, if your age is below 19 and a half, you are eligible to write National Defense Academy exam. Whether if ask science or commerce, you will have only one set of questions. 300 marks for mathematics and 600 will be for physics, chemistry, biology and general knowledge. So now, if you are an art student, then you can only join Indian Army. If you are a science student, you can join Army also, Navy also, and then Air Force also. If you are a commerce student, then you can only join Indian Army. So what happened in other cities, okay? When they reached class 8 and 9, they decided that they will write for National Defense Academy. So they started swimming, mountain climbing, they developed their stamina. But okay, many people are in class 8, 9, and they start to come to the house. They go, at least they are not able to. They are very lazy. Even those class 11, 12 boys and girls who are planning to do right in the exam, till now, they still go to the house. So the reason behind why we manipulate didn't get through the NDA is because of the physical test and one is the soft skills. They don't know how to face with their views. Personality, what the season is going on. That is why every year, most of the students who get through from Manipur belongs to the students who belongs to Chinese schools. Chinese schools, they, they have lots of activities from early morning till evening, apart from reading books, no? and by discipline, manners, body language, everything we train now, I don't know never. Chinese schools are not amazing. But Chinese schools, they have a lot of people who 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 have
you get have a small wise to go you do most of the household activities at home improve your develop your stamina get that go okay and my lady and then let it pass the way I think on that let it pass it and then the NDA can hold up if you didn't get through the NDA then you can write CDS combined defense service must that is one column that's go with the OTA for women officers training academy this is specially for women okay the the training academy will be in chennai okay this is a 14 years of service you have to work for 14 years in the army but they can extend as per your report when it's all service commission or ever city is the nubina jangha hai ready see i think nubina ko nubina ka deputy commander ko se kya bhase ko bra i think how they to be manam to amun di laga thangao manam to amun se laga no pay bacha no phang di laga Wonderful scene. I love more and more of women out here to join the force, okay? If you want to join the force, come to my office. I will, I will guide you how to, you know, approach in that way. Get that? Go on, sir. Okay. No my sir, my father, my father. How many of you want to hold a long gun? Oh my God, only one. One, two, three. And how many of you want to hold a shotgun? Shotgun. How many? <laughs> See, longer the gun, less studies, okay? No minus high will lay him part of it. Shorter the gun, more studies. Get that? Come on, sir. I don't think it's differences. How to become a very successful farmer? This is one question that I love to answer, okay? Okay. I will take 10 minutes in this. <laughs> See, right now, Sri Lanka is burning. You know why Sri Lanka is burning? Because they have a tradition, okay? Even most of my Sri Lankan friends, because I studied from Bangalore, I have many Sri Lankan friends, okay? They have a tradition of going to US and UK, living behind their older parents at home, okay? So they will study and they go to a foreign country, live behind their mother and father at home. So when they grow old, they do not do farming, right? That is why there are very less farmers in Sri Lanka. That is why the rise of the food, the price of the food is very high. That is why in the month of December, January, the people of Sri Lanka, they burn down the assemblies, they burn down the house of the president and all. So how important the food is? During COVID, everything closed, the school, college, universe, everything closed, but we cannot close our mouth, right? The moment we get up in the morning with the tea, then lunch, then afternoon snacks, then again dinner, right? Till the time the human being live, survive. Agriculture is the only industry, only part, only area with which will stay all the time. Okay? So agriculture, if you want to become a very successful farmer, go along with education because nowadays there are so many technologies involved in the field of agriculture. Whatever we are doing right now, till now, is the you know traditional way of doing farming. Okay, so what we have to do is earlier there's an exam called ICAR, but now it has been replaced by CUET, Command University Entrance Test. Under CUET, we can study agriculture, but still this is under ICAR. Okay, so under ICAR we have 29 college. The College, the Agri University we have in Manipur also belongs to one of these 29 colleges. Alright boys and girls? So, agriculture is the mother of horticulture. These people, they deal with fruits and flowers. Again, agriculture is the mother of sericulture, and then fishery, and then forestry. That means once you finish agriculture, you can work in any of these departments. So now, if you want to become a professor or a lecturer or maybe a scientist in the field of agriculture, then your journey will be there more than 10, 15 years. But if you want to become an engineer in the field of agriculture, then, then there is a subject called agri engineering. This is a four years course. You know how advanced agri engineering are? There is a country, you know, France, France, okay? In France, they have urban farming. This is a land. They will build around 10 story building here. Again, down, underneath, they will duck the underneath ground and they'll make again another five to ten story underneath. And they do farming underneath the ground. How is it possible? 
they use UV rays, ngagi mati gumba ko, nutrients, and they can grow all the vegetables downstairs. And whatever the product produced here, it, it will be sold again in the seven weeks and you will This is what we call urban farming, which is going to be the future because we don't have much land now because of urbanization, right? Get that going, sir? And then, if you want to do a business in agriculture, then after four years of agriculture, you go for another two more years in agri-business management. Okay? Two more years in master's, agri-business management. When you do this course, you are going to work together with the food processing, food processing, uh, you know, professionals, and you can do lots of, you know, you can do wonders in this field. Because Manipu is blazed with many fruits and vegetables. See, now, when you go to Tamil Nadu, you see Tamil Nadu tea, Chamanago. But we don't have tea broker because we don't have entrepreneurs. We, do, we don't have much of entrepreneurs in Manipur. See, if last time I have been to Yayakopi, then I have been to a village on the way to Okru. You won't believe every house in that village, every house has at least five to six jackfruit trees. Jackfruit can be gone. He can't go gone. Kerala da tum makhale Kerala ko mangale. Aye, thawai shuri. Can you know how to name? The seeds of the jackfruit, you slice it down, slice, and you dry it. Haldiram company they buy those dried, dried, sliced jackfruit seeds. Ko they used to buy it for seven thousand rupees for one kilo. They buy it from Kerala. But we don't have agri business management people. That's the reason why we are not making use of the resource of the fruits and the vegetables which is grown in Manipur. Can I go on, sir? See, yesterday, the day before yesterday, I went to market and a lady was selling a mushroom. The mushroom came from Korea. The mushroom was like the design, the, the shape was like this. They have a tip like this and the, the, the body was long. I don't know whether you know this mushroom. It was like this. It comes in a packet. One packet costs around 300 rupees. Many people are buying it like hell, okay? <laughs> that is done by agribusiness management from Korea. When they can send their product from Korea to Manipur, why can't you do it? Can they go on, sir? Can they go on, sir? See, this is Manipur, they have black rice, we have black rice. You can make noodles out of it. How do you do it? How do you do it? How do ไข่ข้าไข่ข้าพลัมโดก็เอาไปไข่ข้าก็ไปดูที่เมาส์ไข่ข้าไข่ข้าโดอันนี้ไม่ใช่ใช่แล้วก็ปัดเลยก็อัน
you will have a gun okay police ki dress hai kani i use the by si si ring sub inspector ring the how we go and you can go to the dfo i o to pis so but this is not meant for girls this profession na to be no my bad and girl to be kan my kid na ko so we go as a he have a multiple question in one page okay see if you have taken a major in biology my only advice to you is go to phd don't stop in half way yes if you want to become a teacher in the high school higher secondary in college is different thing but if you want to work in a corporate sector try to reach the phd example let's say bsc chemistry bsc chemistry bsc botany chemistry and botany with this two combination or maybe just single combination you try to risk phd you know which company will approach you a company who uh, which is a cosmetic company okay for example as a chemistry you do the phd the cosmetic company lipstick company perfume companies okay and any company where they manufacture disinfectants and all those company will attract you if you do phd in chemistry If, if you don't want to teach in a school or a college, but if you want to work in a corporate, chemistry people can reach till here, and you can work in a corporate. I don't want to mention the salary because there are many zeros behind. Okay, you will be too excited if I mention. Can I come answer? Same thing in botany also. If you do biology, you can work in a biopon. This is a company based on biotechnologies. Okay. So biopon is a company who hired biotechnologies, the people who have done a PhD through. I think what we know. Get that right? If you want to know more about a company who hired a forty students who have reached the PhD, they come to my office. I'll give the list of the companies where they offer those people. Get that right? Call. But they will demanding a few uh, skills in the in the process of reaching the PhD. There are few skills skills I can introduce you. This is about commerce. 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 Sir, can you can you see me again? Hey. This way, hi, give a call. Example: You have done your class eleven and twelve in commerce, or maybe any subject. And let's say right now you are doing BCom. Last time in the year 2000, just before COVID, I have been to Delhi. There, I have a friend and her brother. Okay, he did commerce from Delhi, and he drives Mercedes Benz. So I asked my friend, "How come your brother drives a Mercedes? Did your father buy it for him?" No, he did it from his own money. I said he did just commerce, right? Yeah, he just did before. Then I waited for this boy for two three hours. Then finally he came. He said, "Oh, Didi, how are you? Long time I didn't see you. I was all dressed up with lots of expensive watches, Google's. Come here, come here, come here. My style, come here, come here. And then I said, 'Come here, come here. I have something to ask you.' I said, 'How much money you pay EMI for your Mercedes? My C class, you know, I'm talking about the Mercedes that I bought for ten thousand lakhs. Pay me, come on. Oh, Didi, I pay eighty seven thousand rupees every month. I said, 'Oh.'" But you just did before, right? Yes, I just did before. Any doubt? And then no, I have no doubt. But how come you earn so much money after just doing before, na? He said, Oh, Didi, I did CPA. I asked, What is CPA? That is a Certified Public Accountant. That's a diploma, one year online diploma, where the certificate comes for US and UK. Okay. So during BCom, also you can learn that course. With during BCom, then you will be MPA, Manager of Public Accounting. After BCom, then you have to do CPA, Certified Public Account. It is the same degree, but the name is different. One is during BCom, another is after BCom. Okay? It will cost you around one lakh fifty thousand rupees online classes and certification come from US and UK. With these two combinations, BCom and the CPA, your salary there is no limited salary. It starts with eighty ninety thousand rupees. So that's the reason why he can drive Mercedes Benz and all. But we Manipuri are so foolish now. We start to answer our own labor. We form the main form to link them up with it. We don't look here and there. Okay, we are just straight walker. I don't know. I don't know. 
If you want to work immediately in the corporate sector just after BCOM, then you can use this weapon. Okay? Second thing, if you wanted to be BCOM, then MCOM, then you can go ahead, you can go for teaching line. Another thing, you can go for chapter accountant. From class 12 till chapter accountant exam, it will take four and a half years. Even though if you didn't get through in a chapter accounting, you will be still an auditor. Where the income is also very good. Can that come as And then another one option from commerce, you can go for BBA, Bachelor of Business Administration, you can go for MBA, this is Master's of Business Administration. That's the way how you can work in a corporate sector. Can that go? So this is some career options that you can go after commerce. Whoever has asked me, can that go? How does we want to phone to pay in Kona? Because the city public name I'm highly added. I want to become a fashion designer, but my mom and dad doesn't want me to become a fashion designer. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, mama and papa say they behave like they live in bed to find bed to feed. Right? Sometimes they are like they see, they are supporting me. <laughs> see, do whatever you love to do, but you should be very skillful in that, okay? Say fashion designing. First of all, you have to write an exam called NIFT, N I F T, if you want to study in the government college, okay? But here, even though if you get through in NIFT also, but still it's one of the expensive course. After NIFT, if you get through you study in government college, otherwise you can also study in the private college and university. The name of the course will be BFT, Bachelor of Fashion Designing. So what kind of profession you can have? If they go for fashion designing, they will put different different colors in their hair, they will wear something something different clothes, and they will have, they will do drugs, this and that. So whatever you see in the movie is not all correct, okay? It's not at all correct. So if you want to work as a you know, as a teacher or a professor in the college, so you have to do MFD, Masters of Fashion Designing. After this, if you join a very reputed college as a, you know, as a lecturer, there is no need for writing, uh, studying BA, MA, whatever you study in the general studies, it's not required in our professional course, okay? Right away after Masters, you can work in a university. At present, in 2023, a teacher who is teaching in the Fashion Designing College, they are getting around 60 to 70,000 rupees. In the very good colleges. And in medium colleges, they are getting around 45 to 50,000 rupees. So, this is one thing that you can do after fashion designing. Otherwise, you can be just a designer, okay? You can design a year, we design for just a few group of people, for the elite people. Otherwise, after fashion designing, in the master, instead of doing this, if you don't want to be a teacher or lecturer, then don't do this. Otherwise, what you can do in a master, you can go for textile management. If you go for textile management in the future, you can have your own garment production house. Okay? Here you can do mass production of jeans, t-shirts, socks. You can also design the bed sheet cover. You can produce that. You can design the curtains. You can manufacture them. Okay? This is also one career that you can do. You can go for after fashion designing. It's not just, just becoming a designer. Okay? Get that go. So you tell the parents, you you tell to go home and explain to, to them about like this. Okay. Why I'm saying sometimes parents are bad people and bad people? I have a story. <laughs> Recently, a boy and a father, a very rich man, he came to my office. I said, ma'am, my son wants to go for a computer. Not my son, I want him to go for computer engineering. Then I checked the skill for maths and physics, that boy is very weak in maths and physics, very weak, okay? He is not the right person to go for computer engineering. Then I asked the father, uncle, why do you want your son to go for, you know, computer engineering? He said, my son, his hands is very good. When my mobile doesn't work, he do something, something, and it can run. And when something happens, the laptop, he, he just took off something, I mean, he made something, he's just meant. He can also fix the radio. He can fix many things. That's why I want him to go for computer engineering. Then I have I understood why because see there's something called hardware and software, hardware and chip. Whatever this this is hard, right? When you do like it's hard, right? And when you open the cover inside, you will see all those features, those objects inside, right? There is someone called hardware and networking engineers. 
Okay? This hardware, this is done by hardware and networking engineer, the hard part. So when you do like this, when you do like this, the things that you are seeing in the screen, that is done by the software engineers. Okay? So whatever you're seeing here inside, this is done by software engineers. For them, mathematics and physics is required. But for hardware, Takatakla we say, no, here, there is not for physics and the mathematics. His son is the right person to go for hardware and networking engineering. Okay? But the father wasn't willing to accept them. They said, oh, my name is Adin Computer Engineering, I'm going to have a tool of the trip. I don't want to go to the house. I don't want to go to the house. I don't want But father will have a mental peace when the son goes for a computer engineering, but the life of the boy will be destroyed. Because he's not the right person to go for computer engineering. Which subject will be good for ear hostess? And how to become a good ear hostess? <laughs> Whoever wrote this, you should not get angry all the time. Ear hostess is how we are there. Have you ever seen any ear hostess with a frowny face standing like this? You will never see. So then they will go. Manum the pop pop salam's house, they will still smile. Yes, I go. Yam sawadri yade number one da. Aduga, I am the high this day. I will not stop you to become ear hostess, but as a career counselor, my job, you know, my job is to make you a future plan for a career. We should always have a backup. Okay? We should always have a backup. Every year, Two to three beautiful newly married women come to my office because of the mental health issues. Why? And the most of them turn out to be an air hostess also. The reason behind being as an air hostess, even if you stay in a hotel, you will stay in a five star hotel. Even just to trim your eyebrows, you will do it in a five star saloon. After having all those luxurious life, suddenly you leave your job, come back home, and start cooking in the kitchen, you know? See, now music is 18 years and you are just 12 standard. Then you join the year masters. When you reach 30 years, you'll, you'll marry. Then by the time you are 31 or 32, you have kids. As a mother, you will not feel like leaving your six months old baby and go for an air hostess job, right? That is why normally they used to leave their job after they got married. But if you leave the job when you are 32 years, that means you have 60 years, 60 years, years more to live. If God bless you with 100 years, you have 68 years to live if you leave the job by the time you are 32 years old. What are you going to do in these 68 years? Because when you turn back, you will have only class 12 certificate, which where well, it will be difficult for you to start a life again, right? That is why leave behind a backup. The backup would be this, this one. Hotel management, bachelor's of travel and tourism management. You can go for BBA, bachelor of business administration. You can go for BA in aviation management. Or you can go for airport management. So these are some of the courses where you can do before you join the air hostess. Example, let's say if you do aviation management for three years, then when you come back home, 32 years old, when you turn back, if you have an aviation management certificate in your hand, then you can go to the airport, you can say, Indigo, I have worked under you for 10 years, now I am married, but I have aviation management, three years course in my hand. Then you can work in the airport as a ground staff manager where you can still apply your nerve police and just take and enjoy your life. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, I said. So always leave behind a backup. See, your hormone is something like, oh, I am going, I am doing, okay? That's your hormone. Then your hormone is going to come out of the day. See, when you go home now, today, in the evening, you have a plate full of rice. Your mommy will offer you. But that plate full of rice will not be available throughout the life. Doesn't mean your mother will be. There will be a time where your mother will not be there to offer you that plate full of rice. Can I go on, sir? I do now. Always leave behind a backup. And then when your parents are still young, fit, and kicking, try to become someone. Okay? Don't waste your time on mobile and on the rest of the things. And those of them who want to work in the force in the future, you save your eyes. If your eyes is beyond 6 by 6 and 6 by 9, then you will kick off. If your eyesight is more than less than this. 
okay, force is like a heavy Even in the software companies, okay, if they see a bag, you know, eye bag, they will not hire you. Because they think those people who don't sleep at night, okay, they will have a dark circle, right? Uh, people with dark circle, they come for a job interview, they will not hire you. Because these days, it is so advanced. The human resource manager, the psychology is so strong, and sometimes they use the artificial intelligence to check the mental health of the people who are coming for interviews. Okay? Who don't those people who don't sleep at night with a mobile phone, they will never never give a profit in the company. Get that kawasa to save your eyes. Your eyes is very important. Now it is most of the company interview you go, they will ask you for a health checkup. Everywhere you go, most of the companies in the world, a health checkup here. Meet Kuba Soba, Wayne Kapanke. Get the Kawasa and the mobile and find one. And has a plug in at the same money phone. And then I hear her says later, you can go for this, 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 any of this. You leave behind your certificate and go for it. And nowadays, whoever had gone for hotel management, huh, these people are mostly you know, uh, demanded by the airlines people. Because these people, when they do hotel management, they will learn all the soft skills. Soft skills is what we need in the airline sector. See, good career is not just about earning money, it's all about a mental peace. Okay? See, money comes and goes. But whatever you are doing, you should love that. There are many people in Manipur who just run after the money. They will get more money when they shift their job from one job to another. But when it comes to your intellectual and your career is growth like they have. As I love to do the thing that you love the most, money will follow you. So good career is mainly for mental peace and reputation and name, okay? Get that go as a career they put a two minutes up to my own. Not to get it so long, a meal like goes in money put up. Besarani and five up, so young now a million more. At the man of the time, you always have to down the mind for snap, you get to another way. See, I don't know, I get, I get, okay, I'll tell you a short story about myself. Some of you might know, some of you might not. My father, everybody in my family took science. <coughs> everybody in my family. So I also said, I also thought, okay, let me also go for science because everybody wants me to become a doctor. So I took science in my class 11 and 12 and I failed in my class 12. I got one in mathematics. It's all single, single digit, except English and uh, Manipuri, I got around 50, 60. The rest of the subject is just single digit, okay? Six, five, seven, eight, like that. So next, the second time I got the exam, I got 79.9%. The way I read, okay, that one year in life power was a I think those days I used to complain, why go on this one? I don't know how to get away, fail, I don't know how to But now I'm very thankful to God. He made me fail in the exam because he loves me, because he knows I have lots of potential. He has given me a chance to express my potential by making me fail in my exam. And I understood my own potential when I failed in the first time. I can read 10 hours continuously. I never thought that, okay? 10 hours continuously I can read once I failed in my class 12. Other than that, I got 79.9% gone. Then, again, science continued. I went to Delhi. I enrolled myself in Miranda House for three months. I did botany. Then I started getting allergic to botany again. Then I left college. I come back home. Then again, I went to Bangalore and I was enrolled for biotechnology again. The subject again is a sing -chu, okay? Biotechnology is a sing -chu. They have physics, also math, also chemistry, but it's all sing -chu, okay? But I have a number of eight pounds, I have a number of eight years old. I somehow buy her the commas and the full stop, the books, and I pass. I got 55% in my graduation. I went for a job interview, nobody selected me because. I kept hate them again. So I was jobless for many years. Around two, three years I was jobless. So like that, many youth in Manipur are jobless even though they go to many cities, do higher studies, come back from becoming nothing. Huh? So I was also one of them. Then what happened one day? I cried, you know, I prayed to God. Then, you know, I, I slept. I couldn't pray before. And maybe it's a coincidence, I don't know. I decided to work from I was in the class of 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 
<laughs> so I used to buy marbles for 10 rupees. I used to have 50 marbles. With that 50 marbles, I roam around the colony looking for a wicker player. <laughs> because my intention is to play the marble and you know, marbles say, I'm going to sell it again. So every day I do patanagi marble lady for. And when I go home, back home in the evening, I have 100 rupees in my pocket. I do all three coins and even. So that thing came in my dream. So I maybe I, I pray to God the, 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 day, the, the night before. So maybe God has given me indication that I should do business. Okay, then I went to Delhi. Then I did my master's of business administration. Okay, I was so one of atten attentive in the class. You won't believe I sit in the front bench. Otherwise, I'm always the last bencher. My entire life, my school days, high school, higher secondary, my position will always be in the last bench or otherwise in front of the classroom. I understood the in and out of the subject. So after that, I worked in many companies. I earned some money. Again, I invested all that money in a small company that I set up in Bangalore in the year 2008. There, I lost all the money in three months. It was almost one crore rupees. The day I lost the money, I was 31 years old. So on that particular night, what I came to know is that every human being has two things in life. One is interest and one is a talent. Okay? So business is just my interest. I have no talent in business. That's why I lost all the money. Okay, boys and girls? So why, why I, I'm telling you this story? Because I want each one of you to choose a career, not only on base on interest. Okay, so obviously, it always every career should start from interest. But what you have to find out is how skillful am I in that particular interest that you have to find out. Otherwise, if you just go after interest, you might fall in the pit. Get that go answer. See, being a fashion designer and being a fashion fashion level is a two different area. Being a fashion designer is one thing. Being a fashion level is another thing. But in Manipur, if you can dress up like Korea, you know, if you can just do a get up like Korea, then you consider yourself the right person to go for fashion designing. <laughs> but when you come back to Manipur, you only make blouse, nothing else. Okay? Because fashion designers, their, their hands are magic. Their IQ levels are very high. You can compare the IQ levels of the famous fashion designer with the doctors and IS officers. Because see, doctors, they work so hard, they read books. Yes, they saw the books and they read. They read everything for hours and hours and hours. They analyze, they understood, then they become a doctor. But fashion designers, they are going to design something which is not seen by anyone else before. Right? So IQ levels will be very high. Get that answer. So never follow a career based only on interest. See a boy, okay? I met this boy, he was I will mention his name, Thompson. You remember this name? This boy's name will come in a newspaper by maybe in the year 2026 or 27. This boy, when he came to my office with a counseling, we have different set of counselors, clinical, you know, drug addict, mobile addict, many counselors. I focus on that career. This boy, he came for clinical counseling, but those days, my friend, they came for the, they just came on call, okay? They don't sit in my office 24 hours. So, I happened to meet this boy. The mother said, ma'am, please do something for my son. He hardly speaks. The mother is a doctor, father is a doctor. The boy's brother is also a doctor. That boy, his, his sister is also a doctor. But this boy is also very good in studies. But how come he was under the medication of a doctor? Because he was diagnosed for depression and anxiety. So after class 12, he was depressed for two years. After that, he came to my office. So I started counseling this boy because clinical counselors were not busy, were not available on their day. So this boy, I requested the mother to send him every day to my office for one month. Every day he came. I said, do you have food? He will do like this. If he had food, he will do like this. <laughs> one month was like this and like this only. He will not speak. Then I was so fed up, okay, I said, okay, fine, Thompson. You, I'm giving you a paper. Write whatever you want since you don't want to speak up. So I gave him a piece of paper, not piece of paper, one FO size paper. Then I went up and had a cup of tea. When I came down, I had a goosebump. Because he, this boy, he drew a blouse like a professional. Okay? Then I just stood in front of him, 
in front of him, na, I said, throw a blouse suitable for me. He looked at my figure, okay, he said, ma'am, your arms is this, your waist is this, he started speaking at that moment, okay. And then he said, you, ta 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 he looked like a professional, okay, and he cried. Ma'am, this is what I wanted to do. I want to become a fashion designer, but I'm so scared to tell my mom. Okay? He knows everything. He knows when does a device came to India, when he knows when does a Hilfiger company came to India. He knows the name of all the renowned fashion designers in the world. Everything he had done, all the investigations. The only thing is that he's so scared to tell his mother because we Manipuris, we consider fashion designing at this point, you know, the professional in this field to be something else, okay? Like a person who would like to go for this court a person who would wear those kind of unusual dress, they have different thoughts, the parents, okay? So I would like to I would like to change those stereotypes and those thinking. But somehow I convinced the mother. Mother almost spent when I say your son is the right person to go fashion designing. She was not fully convinced. She said, No, how will my son become fashion? No, it's just the profit. We don't respect those professions anymore. I said, if your father if your son go for medical, he'll become a doctor, but he will be not a famous doctor. He will die just like nobody will know him. But if you go for fashion designing, one day his name will come in the newspaper. Somehow, somehow I convinced the mother and that boy, he got NIFT exam, the one I mentioned. He was all in there ranking for 37. He got 37 rank in NIFT exam. Right now he's doing internship, you know, final year internship in one of the country, not in India. So when you come back to India, his name will come in the newspaper because he's very skillful and very talented. Again, I come so always choose a career which is based on your skills and you will hire a few people very soon in the coming few years. One of such professions will be environmental science, environmental engineer, fire and safety engineer, and one is one more profession I forgot that one. Environmental science, environmental engineer, and then fire and safety engineer. These three people will be demanded by this department that I have just mentioned, where most of the money groups ignore this area. Can I go, Can I go? And then, because of the look is policy, there will be demand for people who have gone for traveling tourism, hotel management, seek demand happening in Manipura. And then, see, traveling tourism said, if you love history, geography, and roaming, traveling, if you love history, geography, and traveling, with this three combination, you can make a very good career. Bachelor of Travel and Tourism Management. If you want to work in a college, you can go for MDTM, Masters of Travel and Tourism Management, then you can work in a university. Otherwise, you can be an international tourist guide. If you want to become an international tourist guide, then you have to learn a few languages, okay? Like you can learn Russian, you can do it through online, Chinese, France, Germany, and Spanish. If you can speak this few language, then you can get a job in a very renowned tour operation company in the world. Okay? This is to become an international tourist guide. Otherwise, if you want to do business in travel and tourism, after BTTN, you can go for MBA, Master's of Business Administration in Travel and Tourism. After that, what you can do, you can have your own company where you can have a ticketing counter, taxi services, and two operations. So during the wedding season, you can organize a tour. Honeymoon to Bangkok, 10 couples, you won three lakh rupees. Can I go on, sir? See, many girls are laughing here. I think they are interested. There's a scholarship available for BTM right now. If it belongs to SC, SD, or BC, and if your parent doesn't work in the government sector, then there is a college in Punjab where they offer a scholarship. Okay? If you want to know more in details about it, you can always give me a call. Alright? And now, what happened? We have only one national, international tourist guide in Manipur who is working in Kamala. He's the only single figure. Every month he comes to my office and says, Ma'am, is there anyone who has finished this course? Because there is a need for around 45 people of such in Manipur right now, but we don't have these people now. Because most of the people who have gone for travel and tourism, they have done the combined subject, like hospitality and tourism. They don't want those people. They want a full-fledged four years BTTM. There's a demand for 45 to 50 people in Manipur itself. We don't have. Okay? Why history geography wants to become an international tourist guide? History is very important. Example, you took a tourist to London. There are many palaces out there, right? 
But in, so they might ask you anything about their particular palace, or maybe the king who had lived in their palace, right? So this person just should know history. So if you love history and geography and traveling, then this is one right subject you can go for. How was your experiment as a career counselor? It's not a very easy job. <laughs> I have, I did lots of traveling. In the year 2016, I was still carrying, carrying my son in my stomach. It was eight months of pregnancy, and there was a call from one of the students from the crew, okay? It was in the year 2016, yes. There was no road, proper road. There was no black topic in that time, okay? I have to, we have to drive over the stone. But then I didn't inform my mom and dad, even my in-laws, they didn't know. I said, I'm going to Tuzampur, and I went there. Okay, so me as a career counselor, I know why. You know, I I didn't I don't get tired. I don't know why. I think I have some problem in that. If I can speak all day from morning eight o'clock till nine o'clock, standing like this, okay, I never get tired. Okay, so as a career counselor, I think first of all you should be very healthy. That's very important. So wherever I go, I demand work. Okay, because I'm too slim. Okay, so I have to get lots of work. That gives me energy. So my experience as a career counselor is fantastic, but as a starting, nobody accepted me. In the, in the, in the year 2011, when I come back to Manipur as a counselor, a career counselor, I visited many schools and colleges, nobody welcomed me. So at last what happened, I have to go to the coaching centers and then the hostel, I have to bring out the students, I started counseling them. Now after that, suddenly one day, one student from Okru, he invited me. And then that's the way how I started my career counseling, you know, proper career counseling started from Okru. So there's a school called Sacred Heart. I started my career from there. After then, there's no stopping, okay? Till now, I'm continuing. It's since 2013, I have started this. But my office establishment, I started from 2014 onwards. Okay, boys and girls? How to, dis how to discover our talent? This is a very important question again. So nowadays you are very lucky, those young boys and girls in class 4 and 5 and 6, because of national education policy, there are so many skills will be going to be introduced in the syllabus, okay? That's the way how they can develop their talent. But you all are grown, grown up, you have not experienced that. So what you can do is come to my office, we have another skill test, not a psychometric test, we have another skill test for those who would like to make a career through skills, not through academics, okay? So if you are not so interested in books, but want to make a career through skills, then come to my office once, okay? And then I have one more information to give it to you. There is an office called Nailit in Nepal. N-I-E-L-I-T, Nailit. They have a wonderful offer these days. They have many courses available, website developing, and then they have gaming, then multimedia, something. If you have score, first division in class 10 or 12, if you score first division in class 10 or 12, you are eligible to take admission in that college, provided once you finish the course, they will give you 50,000 rupees stipend also. And during the course, it's all free, your stay and food, everything is free. And once you learn something, they'll give you stipend so you can start a business. If you want to know more again about this, I can always send my, I have a material with me, I can forward it to serve and, and they can share it with you, okay? You have to go to Nailit. But most of the course will be based on computer, but some of the course are like related to web developing, apps and all. Okay, then we can go for it. This was the one information. How to become a lawyer? Law. If you are a class 12 student, whoever asked me this question, for you, you have to write the example CLAT. C-L-A-T, CLAT. And graduates, they can go for LLB, okay? Three years. But for class 12, you write this exam, if you get through, then you can study in National Law College. If you didn't get through, then you can join a private university. Still, we have big five university coming here. I think they also have local law. You can also go there. It will be in five years, BA, LLB. But if you want to work in a corporate, in a company, industry, in a factory as a lawyer, then the right solution will be BBA, LLB. This is also five years. Okay? Even if you do this, also you can still work in the company, industry, and factory, okay? But now in this corporate layers, lawyers, they, the salary is very really good. The salary, they used to get around 1 lakh 40, 1 lakh 50 like that. Corporate lawyers, and lawyers who work in the companies, okay? 
So this is one professor in Manipur where we don't have to give bribe law. The exam will be conducting now, the result out in another two, three hours. Because my point, law in Havati Manipur, the bribe people is translated. And every year the job opening is very high for lawyers. But why the, there are so many vacant posts? Because eligible candidates are not there. Otherwise, post yam hang yam moji. Tabo su yam lawe, lawe di tum, tabo lawe pe sa pita di tum, sahi kudi ki 40, 50 people, tum lawe pe ni lawe di. Can they go on sa? So who is the right person to become a lawyer again? A person who is a bookworm. A person whose IQ is very high. Your sense of humor, your presence of mind should be very good. I used to be someone who has a very strong convincing power because they are going to find about right and wrong, right? Your convincing power should be very good. See, there was a lady from Uttarul, she came to my office and said, Ma'am, I want to become a lawyer. Very beautiful, soft, soft spoken girl. Ma'am, I want to become a lawyer. I said, Why? Ma'am, I want to hold the hammer and do order, order. <laughs> <laughs> But she doesn't know how heavy the hammer is, okay? It is even heavier than the Thor's hammer, no? So you hammer them to you, but by the other day. Either you have to fight a thousand times, you have to keep on winning the case, then at last you can not forget, and you have to study a lot just to get hold of the hammer, okay? But that the so soft spoken in one case you feel <laughs> nobody will hire him. The class will become a Sunday lawyer. Okay? Last month Sunday lawyer where they were. So if you want to go for law, you test your IQ, you check your personality, okay? That's very important. The second thing, your book one for the door. You should be very good, very good in reading. Yes, I go on, sir. Some of the questions are not related to career, which I'm not answering, okay? Sir, when I said, ma'am, can you please explain about all the exams that we can write after class 12? Okay? Explain about this. First thing you can go for, me. Medical, okay? And then we have seven doctors. We have MBBS, dental, homeopathic, Ayurvedic, Yunani, Siddha, and then veterinary science. You may write it, listen carefully, you can also still go for it, okay? Even if you have written science in class 11 and 12. So these seven doctors come under me, that means if you didn't get a pass mark, in this exam, you are not eligible to study all this medical line. But if you want to get part of the government seat, then you have to get at least 650 minimum. 600, 650 out of 720, then only you can get a government job. But if you want to study this medical out of your pocket money, then you have to get at least a minimum pass mark. Last year it was 120 out of, out of 720. Okay? And there is one more medical doctor which is not underneath. The name of the doctor is Bachelor of Naturopathy and Yoga Science. These doctors does not come underneath because these doctors, they don't dissect human beings and they don't prescribe medicine to the patients. Can I go? So BNYS, these doctors, they don't have to write a medical exam because these doctors, they don't prescribe medicine and they don't do dissection to the human being. Okay? You got it? So right now, Manipur has MBBS, BBS, homeopathic, ayurvedic, and veterinary, but we have very less doctors for Yunani, Siddha, and naturopathy. Every district hospital will have an opening for such, such doctors in the future that I believe. Because every state has. If you go to southern part of India, many hospitals have these professions. But in Manipur, I think they will have. Okay? Go for it. Now, this is about medical. And how to prepare for medical? You join the 
coaching classes in Manipur as well as you join the offline online classes which is taught by teachers from other cities because Manipur teachers are very good in teaching the content of the subject but when it comes to application they are little lacking behind maybe because the book which was taught earlier but now there is a scenario has changed many NCRT books are introduced in the class 11 and 12 in Manipur right now the teachers are developing and improving in that area okay they are very good in teaching the content of the book but when it comes to application, example, like say, this formula can be applied in a washing machine. This formula can be applied while, you know, building the house. That application is a little lacking behind, but they are improving a lot now, okay? So you join a coaching in Manipur, as well as the online coaching, which is taught by the teachers from other schools. But the main thing is, revise your class 6 to class 10 book before you join a medical coaching. This is mandatory, all right? Okay, then there is something called paramedicals. Paramedicals, these are people, without these people, doctors are helpless. How will a doctor diagnose the medicine, uh, the diagnose the sickness without doing a blood test, right? How will a doctor will know the, you know, the expansion of the cancer cell without the help of radiologists, right? So, MLT, lab technician, lab radiologists, dialysis, these are the people who help the doctors for, while treating a patient, okay? So, there are many, we have around 18, 18, Paramedical courses in India, 18, 1 8. The famous one that many priests are doing is number one, nursing, number two, MLT, number three, dialysis, number four, radiology. But I would like to mention about three three paramedical courses which will be highly demanded in Manipur in the coming years. Okay? One profession will be a perfusion technology. You can write it down. Perfusion. These are the people involved during the open heart surgery. In the year 2016-17, when I got the vision of this profession, I already had a vision that this profession will be demanded in Manipur. But parents are not willing to send their children because the name is very new. Perfusion technology, very new name. Not many people know about this, okay? Do you know what, is this? what does these people do? During the open heart surgery, when you cut open your skin, okay, your heart and lungs will be pumping. At that time, the doctor cannot use a knife to dissect the heart. So they use the machine, okay? So that machine will regulate the movement and they help the doctors, you know, during, to, to dissect the heart. The person who monitors those machines, they are one of the perfusionists. But somehow I forced four of my students to go for this course. They have already finished and they are right now working in Delhi. They are getting around almost one lakh rupees in a month, okay? They already have two and a half years experience. But then the parents keep on taunting me, ma'am, you allow my son to go for this, now they have to stay in Delhi forever, this and that, okay. Then what happened this year in the month of February, Manipur Rims, they have opened up, they have started uh, opening the, this one, open heart surgery facilities. So there's a calling for three cardiac perfusionists. My students are the only ones who have done this course. So they got a job. Okay, likewise, perfusion technology will be highly demanded in Manipur because many hospitals are planning to have open heart surgery facilities. Okay, but this course has to be done only in the medical college, you cannot do anywhere. Right, and there's one more profession called cardiac care. These people they monitor the human heart during any operation. During any operation, these people will monitor the human heart. Okay, so this one will be we have only, I think. Uh, I have two students who have finished cardiac care in the year 2021. Right now, these people are absorbed by RAS Medicity and they got around 35,000 rupees salary in a month. I think they are, they are finished the internship right now. Okay? Yeah, they go on. And one more profession is speech therapy. Okay? I don't know, maybe because of COVID, those boys and girls who are in the age of five, six years, okay? They're having problem in speaking. But we don't have many therapies, speech therapies, okay? This is one area where we, we you know, we ignore, okay? There's a speech, speech therapy. <coughs> so these are some of the professions that will be highly demanded in Manipur in the coming years. All right, boys and girls, so this is all about medical. And then, then we'll talk about engineering, okay? India has 68 branches in engineering. So if your son or anybody, your family, your boy, any of your brothers and sisters who are not so good in physics and maths but still wants to become an engineer, then I have a solution. 
Don't let them go for 11 and 12. They can go straight away for diploma in engineering after class 10. Okay? By doing that, they don't have to study <coughs> chemistry, English, and other subjects in 11 and 12. Okay? There's two ways to join engineers. One is after class 10. After class 10, you go, go for three years diploma in engineering. And with just diploma, you cannot write civil service exam. So you again study another three more years. There, you will be a full fledged degree holder BTEC engineers. Okay, it takes six years. Even after class 10, if you do engineering, now, after class 10, you will go for one year in 11, another one year in class 12, that takes two years, right? And then engineering will take four years. Here also, it takes six years. But nowadays, company demand those people who have gone for six years in engineering comparing to the four years of engineering. Can I come answer? So if you have any brothers and sisters at home who are not so good in physics and mathematics, but still wants to become an engineer and let them go for this. Here, this one you can do in Manipur, not expensive. Manipur government offered three years diploma in engineering, not expensive. Very less amount, okay? This year, this one also you can study in Manipur. Or you can go out of Manipur. So now, if you want to study in IITs, then you have to write an exam called G. This is to study in IITs and NITs, okay? And if you don't want to study in this area, then only for writing G exam. You can straight away go for admission to any of the private colleges in India. So in India, we have 68 branches in engineering. So it depends. If you're very good in mathematics, then you should go for different course. If you're very good in physics, then it's a different course. If you're very good in biology, you can go for genetic engineering, biomedical engineering. If you're very good in chemistry, you can go for chemical engineering, petroleum engineering, like that. So now, that trend, okay, the market trend of a job, it also depends on the politics of the country. Now what happened, the BJP government, with the help of the Tata industry, they have ordered 500 commercial aircraft from the US and France. 500 aircraft. When these 500 aircraft come to India, they will have a servicing center. That is why most of the universities are right now sweeping and mopping the department of the aircraft and the maintenance department. Okay, so there will be demand for lakhs and lakhs of aircraft maintenance engineer in the future because of this 500 airlines which is coming to India. Okay, boys and girls, so if your physics is good, if your physics is good, go for it. Mechanical engineers, aircraft maintenance engineers, there will be huge demand for these people in India. Okay, so if you are not so good in physics and maths and chemistry and bio, you can also still become an engineer. Example, let's say the shoes I'm wearing, leather technology. There is not much, there is no much, not much of physics and mathematics. The dress I'm wearing, garment technology, not much of physics and mathematics. You got my point. So if you want to know more about engineering courses where you have to study less of physics and math and chemistry, then always come to my office. Okay? And let you go. Get that one, sir. You got my point? So in Manipur, mechanical engineers will be in demand because of railway lines. In the coming years, electronics and communication engineers and electrical engineers will be in demand because of the railway lines again, because we don't have railway signaling engineers in Manipur. This one, only electrical engineers can go for one year diploma in railway signaling. We don't have even a single person in Manipur right now. Then now there's a process of expanding the airport, okay? So expanding the airport means many flights will be take off and landing. Every take off and landing we need a mechanical engineers. And for air traffic controlling, we need a telecommunication, information technologies, then a computer engineers to give a signal to the aircraft. Right? So this profession will be demanded in Manipur in the coming years. Can I come answer? So this is all about engineering. Then class 2, right? How many hours they sign have though? You can go for MBA, Medical Engineering, CLAD, NIFT. These are a few major exams that you can write. Can I come answer? Can I bro? I guess I think I am a little running out of time also because I have a flight to case. I have to reach the airport by 2 o'clock. In between, I have a few work to be done also. So this is not the last time, okay? This is not the last time. Uh, I, as I requested, sir, you can make a group, watch a group, okay? As per your qualification. Separate group for class 10, class 9, class 11, 12, and graduate. I will keep on, you know, update, update, I'll give you updates about different, different career courses after graduates, okay? After masters, after plus two, then I'll keep on updating you. You got my point? Mm. And every Sunday, maybe once in a month, every Sunday we can have a Zoom meeting also. 
I have already purchased a Zoom, okay? How many can I do it? Every hour, 30 hours I can use in one day. We are only 24 hours, but I can use 30 hours. <laughs> I paid money for that. So we can discuss in length about career through Zoom also. I'm doing for Tamil law students. Through, we all have a WhatsApp group. Tamil law, I have around 600 students in my WhatsApp group. And then, of course, I have maybe, I don't know, I'm going to start then to some Buddha soup. So right now, I'm connecting with more than 27 lakh students in Manipur through WhatsApp. Yes, I can't. So I would like to welcome you all in my WhatsApp group so that I'll keep on updating you, okay? So today is just the beginning. I just share you a few things, okay? We have many things. We have 1,747 careers to speak. I just spoke about a few things. So we have no way to go, all right? So today I'm in a hurry. So forgive me for not able to give you more time. So we'll do it next time, okay? Thank you so much, boys and girls. Thank you. Thank you.